Good day, Rabbitite Valley Venturers. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Star Wars The Old Republic. It's episode number 102 of Sweater. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, last time out, we worked to find where Theron Shan was. He's been captured by the Revenites. Um, this is where we had left off, and I had considered that they might respawn literally on top of me. So I imagine that whatever I'm about to do is going to cause some trouble, so... Back up the zoom just a skosh. No, oh, there it is. All right, there we go. It was a little sketchy start, but so we've got to kind of cut back up down south west. As you do, I have to cut through a lot of people to do so, but it is what it is, and it just kind of comes with the territory, doesn't it? So, D7 and I working down the commando. Able to just cut by them there. Up this way here. And now we'll see. It looks like a good westerly cutout to take here. Oh, look, yeah, I guess. It's a big, big green. I say personal phase, ain't group phases at the moment. Ain't story phases. Oh, he's called in an airstrike. Cool. It's like a bullshit territory battle from, uh... Galaxy Heroes. No, I'm not gonna talk about it. Because I don't have enough money to have too much new things to talk about Galaxy of Heroes all the time. Alright, so the Revenite Command Center. I wonder if we're going to meet the man himself in here. Oh, there's rifle experts, techs. Tech who looked like he was wearing something I would expect to see in Mass Effect. Which I'm about what, uh... Working on that video, I'm about... I got about 28, 29 hours of footage captured. 6,6100 words into the script. Of course, by the time you watch this, I'm hoping I'll be at... Eh, let's see what's over here, what the hell. By the time you see this video, I'm hoping I'll be at, you know, the 10, 12,000 mark. And at that point... He can't do a bombing run on me. I'm inside. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I hope by the time you guys are watching this, I'll be at, like... Between 10, 12,000 words, and then trying to cut it down, cut it down. At 6,000 words, I'm happy-ish about the development history. But some of that's also going to get integrated into the, uh... Into the actual, like, uh... Like, you know, talking about, oh, here's how the gameplay started, and here's where they went with it, and, you know, same thing with the story. It's like, oh, this... Like, this was sort of the some of the original ideas for the story, but the guys, they went along, they kind of pared it down to... You know, that sort of thing. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Cannot see target. He's... Oh, I was just... Gonna... 
So he's a... Oh, a cyber? Oh, no, tank. Hit one of these. We'll hit an exhaust. That's probably a good idea, too. Not gonna worry about a five yet. I'll hit an eight since it's available. Oh, let's do this. Oh, he set me up and down. That's okay. I'll jump up and hit him with that. Apparently, I just can't decide whether I'm. Apparently, I'm broke. Oh no. You'll never stop revving. You'll never stop revving. You'll never stop revving. He's broken too. Everybody's broken. The plan remains intact. Sistech efficient footgear. No, that's that's map nine inventory. Ah, oh, hey, how about that? How's it look? Uh, it doesn't really match, but it is better, so. Why does it look like I'm wearing shorts? As supposed to, you know, shorts and leggings underneath. Look very naked. We'll put it on. Do I need to go over here? No? Okay. I'll just go through the door then. Oh, this is important. So you get a cutscene. Also, feel bad because this is we're only like a few minutes into the episode and we're already doing this, you know, cutscenable stuff. Another pointless attack. Where's Theron? He and I have had some interesting conversations. My own flesh and blood, completely blind to the sacrifices I've made. I've struggled for centuries to preserve the galaxy, to protect future generations from the most destructive evil that's ever existed. How can none of you see this? Well, you've done a bad job of it, so... You mean the Emperor, don't you? He's dead. I struck him down myself. So I've heard. Hello there. You're here. Come on, we have to go now. Theron? Escaped all on your own. I hoped I would have more time to make you see. He's got a signal jammer that's blocking all starship communications in the Risi system. The fleets will come out of hyperspace practically on top of each other. No coordination, saboteurs in every crew. It'll be a massacre. And at last, the board will be cleared of distractions. Self-destruct sequence. Come on, we've got to go. Look out! I was hoping they'd be a little more than generic security droids, but it is what it is. It explains why it's a... Uh... Not helpful security droids, but... Right there and go. Oh, for the love of God. Now he's just charging on ahead, and we gotta follow. In case he does something stupid and gets himself killed. Let's see. I was gonna say, I don't know why we're getting, uh,. Battle of Endor's Death Star Chase music right now, but it is what it is. How many times did I watch that day? It's just one of those things. How many times you watch a damn movie and it's like, yep, yep, I know that one. Eh. No, that's Boba Fett, Boba Fett where? I guess they've really used that as a basically a note for note reprise both in the Battle of Jabba Sail Barge and the Battle of Endor. Alright, we'll get to... Oh This guy's just gonna get us all What the hell is that? That wasn't me.
Shut down the over... Shut down the overload? The hell he go? Alright. He's gone backwards. Okay, he's gone backwards to here. Alright. I thought we didn't want to shut down the overload. I've already got... One eye out. Well, okay. Hello? Is everyone alright? Lana, you shut down the self-destruct? I'm beginning to get the hang of this slicing business. Uh, I've created a monster. You should hurry back. The Republic and the Imperial fleets will be arriving very soon. I'll return immediately. I'll meet you there. Need to grab a few things on the way out. Such as... Okay, you won't tell me. Fine. Turn to Rishi Village. Can I fast travel my way back there? Yep. May as well take the quick route. No sense sticking around, you know. No, it's a Nautilin. Oh, mail. Oh, and a Twilik. Oh, Captain Milak. Got my team over to Raiders Cove. We've booked a flight back to Republic Space. Smuggler named Kaya says she can get us out of here without anyone noticing. Here's hoping, huh? You gave us a second chance when I wouldn't have even given myself. Thank you. We, I just hope we can make a difference when we get back to civilization. M. Uh, extra space here just kind of threw me completely off. All right, 62 hundo. I'm guessing it was up in here. Whoop, up and in. Attacking from the air is pointless. The anti-air defenses are much too thick. The torture has rattled your brain. The mighty Chikaro is not afraid of a few cannons. I'm afraid of them. Doesn't that count? What are our other options? I think a surface attack is our only real shot at taking the jammer down. Leave that to me. Perfect. We'll arrange transportation for you. You've got to move fast. The fleets are going to be dropping out of hyperspace any second now. The longer we take... <clears throat> The longer we take, the more we lose. I think the torture business might have uh, done a number on you. The Revanites have claimed too many lives as it is. We're going to end it, here and now. Well, one step at a time. I need to finish slicing the last of these Nova Blade files. They have data on every ship with Revanite infiltrators aboard. As soon as the jamming clears, we'll have to broadcast everything we've got to convince the fleets to cease fire and lock up the Revanites and their crews. One last thing since Lana stepped out. Watch your back. I'm starting to think my little visit to the Revanites might have been her idea. You think she's working for the Revanites? No, but I don't think she's putting all her cards on the table either. Just stay alert, all right? That sounds concerning, but... I won't let my guard down. Good. Enough conspiracy talk. Get out there and take that jammer down. No, uh, it doesn't seem quite... See, these look more like pants. But anyway... Oh, I've gained some more reputation things and gotten some... Anyway. So where am I... Oh. They arranged transport. That is right. So we will head uh, back around. Just pick up the pace slightly. Wow, there we go. I thought... I don't know why I thought I could feather that gap.
There's this dude I'm... Oh. I don't know what. Uh, 15 minutes into the episode, fine. Been told you need a good ship. Well, I don't have a good ship. I have a great ship. Heard they don't like visitors where you're headed. I'll take you as close as I can, but I'm not dying. Alright, well. We'll try and do it fast. Now, the fleet's arrived. The other fleet's arrived. Well, such as it is, because it's... Oh, more ships are kind of showing up. I was going to say. Because it's about six ships. Don't know if you can read me, but I've arrived. We read you. It's, uh... Funny because I'm, uh... I just finished watching the Orville. And, uh... No, it, it's kind of funny because they have the, uh... The jammer's in sight. I'll do what I can to guide you Stand through, but that single jammer might cause some hiccups. hiccups. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I'm waiting for them to kind of close in. But I guess not. All right. I was going to six them all down, but... No, so I was saying, yeah, I watched... Uh, the Orville. And one thing that struck me about sort of... The big battle in the final season was... How much it made me think of the, the big final battle in Deep Space Nine. Except if they had the money to make it work. Because you watch the, you know, the final battle of Deep Space Nine, and it's like... And you think, okay, well, you know, I could see where they... It's not doesn't have this big scale battlefield, but it reuses you know, an insignificant amount of footage. You know, it's not helped when you watch things on... Uh, Netflix. But, um... I got two for the price of one there. Oh, we're going after the convert. We got the... Dude. There's the first supply cache down. Keep our eyes peeled. Hang on. Get them in. Alright. We'll work the strong arm down. There's two and three supply caches, so we should be fine. Oh, bang. Let's dispatch him. That's the first camp down. But yes, I was quite impressed by uh, how much time and money they took with the uh, final season of the Orville. Good show, that. It is, it is a proper Star Trek show. Even if it isn't. I'm sure a lot of people say, oh, but that first... Uh, the first episode. The pilot might be the worst episode of the show by... By like a massive stretch. But after that, it kind of picks up pretty good, so. Okay, got one. We'll work him up with that, and down he goes. Now we'll start working on some... There's some more. It's guarded. There's some more. Also guarded. Revenite battle droids. Can... Going down pretty quick, though. This is your anti-air defenses. You need some work, buddy. Oh, I got interrupted by... Oh, because I'm on fire.
I don't know if there's anything kind of going for... Oh. Wait for him to draw in and hit that. There you go. Got two with that. Down that goes. Took care of that one. Nice and easy. Access the fenced area. Well. Take it right. Follow the road. Well, shit. Grab one of those. Grab one of those. We dispatch him. There we go. I don't like all the uh, wooden bridges here, but honestly, nobody can force push me off the uh, ledge. Dive and get these bastards first. Number five. Oh, sorry. We have company. Apparently had insufficient focus for that. We'll take the cash. And then go into the fenced area. Break and enter. No. We have to defeat Raru Rarook. Okay, he is, he is an... And Marco Ka. Nope. Well, I thought he backed out of the circle, but apparently. Nope. No, the salt droid's dead. Okay, let's work on the focus here. We'll jump. We'll bang. You gotta work these support droids, I think. The T7's doing okay. Support droids taking a little heat, but that's not too surprising. That's what he kind of does. Alright, jump. Bang. Get this shit going. Hit him with something big here. Dispatch. Okay, or not. Oh, it's vanished. Man, I thought I was out again. And 64 health. Oh, there, somebody got a heal in. There's an exhaust. There we go, that's what we need. Four, we'll jump. Bang. Oh, I gotta... We're working them down. Bang. Oh, we got a five so we can go to the exhaust. T7 coming in with some heals. Jump, we'll bang. No, no exhaust yet. But he's down. He's almost out of health. Blade barrage. There. Right, the remaining one rages at the death of their ally. Yeah, well, there's not much health left. He's down to under 
Down to under 5%. There we go. Uh-oh. It sounded the alarm. That's not good. Forgot what I picked up there. I wasn't even looking. Doesn't match, but it'll work for now. Not what I'm looking for, because it's a... Uh... Thank you. Yeah, I gotta spend time doing mods and shit. Uh, which way am I going? Oh, we're going up the lift. What's left of the lift? We gotta reach the bunkers. Hello. Stand by for examination and suggested product. Oh, I was hoping to sell some junk, but I guess not. These are junk. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Hmm, well... Okay, you're in. There's a force field between you and that jammer. You'll have to gather a set of security codes to pass through. Signal's going to start breaking up soon. Talk to you when you get that jammer shut down. God damn. That's one big ugly bastard there. Who called Truckosaurus and put him in... Frickin' sweater. Alright, so we have to slice the first and second access stations. Nah, just... Just work our way into the... into the party here. I had to go through them all anyway, so... Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. And down he goes. Yeah, because we were heading this way. We were going through that crew anyway. So may as well try... Uh, bunker 1 Zeta 7. Oh, down goes the battler. I try and get the Marauder. Join the party. And this is the first slicing station. Anything worth snagging around here? Yeah, well, maybe not. I just thought there might be something that they hide in here. Something decent, you know, like a... What was that shit that I don't pick up or ever find? Datacrons? Not to be confused with Datacons, as they are in Galaxy of Heroes. Why can't I mount here? Oh no, that was... My Fitbit telling me it was 10-2. I'm like, oh. Yeah, we gotta go right through them. Draw them in a bit. Get the sniper. They went down easiest to the bunch. Grab and go. All right. Got to go through another truckosaurus. Oh. Oh, no, they went after T. Marauder can't just make up its mind. Okay, so we gotta go down this way, up here, across the bridge.
At least I hope I'm going the right way, but you never know. T7 bringing up the rear. Oh, there's the ramp. Well, we're slightly stunned. But we stunned back. There's one. Trying to get the, uh, let's see, trying to get the uh, taunt in was our friend the support droid. A little late on the draw, but we figured it out. No worries, no worries. Bunker 2, Tango 5. I know I said Zeta earlier, it just seems Star Wars-ier than Zulu. I know my phonetic alphabet. That was one of... When I worked at Big Four Accounting, that was one of the things I, uh... made sure was distributed to the staff. They take call, and it's like... They take a call from a client, and they're trying to... dictate, uh... They're trying to dictate, like, a an email address, and it's like they're coming with all these damned weird, uh, oh, I forgot to slice it. Damned weird ways of saying whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of weird things, but in my head it's like, you know, what's on silent? Like, Uniform November Sierra Indigo uh, Lima Echo... November... Oh, no. I missed something in there. I can't even spell my own goddamn name. Because I'm doing it in my head. So. Uh, Uniform November Sierra Indigo Lima Echo November Tango. No, I it was going right the first time. I was just confusing myself because I was unsure. I think we can... I wonder if we can get it across this way. Just shortcut the whole bastard. I'd like to. That would be optimal. So I wouldn't know how to do that in like a done poorly way. Just because I'm so used to doing it. Just I'm so used to actually knowing the phonetic alphabet that I can... I wouldn't know like... A weird way of... Yeah, it's just come up. Oh, what the hell's going on down here? I can hear it, I don't see it. Oh, there we all are. All right. We can just go up this way and not lose anyone, right? Yep. Which is what I probably should have done as opposed to, you know, taking the high road, but whatever. Probably shaved a good five minutes off the run just doing that. It's speed runs with Steve-O. Oh, I thought it had gone to a cutscene for some inexplicable reason. Gotta deactivate the force field. Okay, we'll just do that. Oh, let's get up some focus then, so we can bang him. We'll disable some force field. 
And we have to access a fenced area. They really like fenced areas in this game. Somebody spent money on fencing, and you damn well better believe we're going to make use of that 3D object. Oh, off to the right. Because you always go right. Might be able to skirt by them, but I don't know if there's a... Oh, I was expecting trouble. Dead ahead? Alright. Now, probably another boss fight area. Master Obai and Lord Vod. This is boss, eh? We are in the right. Accept it or die. The reason why I'm working on Obai first is I'm expecting Obai. To have healing abilities. So I'm going to try and work down the healer first. We'll do that. We'll hit a bang. What the hell is that? No interrupts because... I have to balance it somehow, I guess. Keeping an eye on the mini-map, too, just in case I get friends. Didn't see that coming, did you? Dodge by listing lazily to the left. Down to one third health on Master Obai. We're getting exhaust. We're getting to the point where I'm starting to wonder if I switch focus to Lord Vaud. I'm not saying keep them close together in terms of health, but. Balls of Force Lightning are paying for the energy. What the hell does that even mean? Oh, I got sapped a bit. A lot. For a very lengthy period of time. Get bogged down a bit. Ah, oh, for the love of Christ. Give me something here. Well, remaining ally rages at the death, or the remaining one right in right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just pretend I said something in English there. There we go. Don't gotta worry about the lightning bolts anymore. Oh, and ca casino chips. All right, there you go. Nothing too. Oh, well, I guess we can open that up. There we go. Wow, wonderful. Crafting rats. Now oh, we gotta reprogram the anti air cannons. That works too. This panel. Oh, they're firing upon Republic warships in in orbit. Oh, bastards. Are we going to do anything about it? The targeting parameters can be altered. Interesting.
The Revenites did not invest in their... Uh, in their deflector shield technology. Well, another medical droid. So, just in case... Stand by for examination and suggested products. Classic voice is back and everything. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I think we're here. The Revenites have employed a series of T-Series Astro Droids. Oh, Star Wars kidding. Oh, bang. Do that. But he got... No. The sport Droids just jumped ahead. Which is just fine. Well, well, let's work on anyone and everyone. Oh, he's Star Wars getting us. Poorly, but he's attempting to anyway. Alright, let's through the door. The rain. What do you hear, Starbuck? Waiting for something to happen here. All sorts of laser colors. Handy to outline them all for us. And putting the revenants with blue lasers. One craft is broken off from the battle. And has put a two legged walker in front of us. Engagement initiated. Shouldn't take long. God damn. Where's an Ewok companion when you need it? Negligible damage. Systems normal. Okay, so... Taking them out. Yeah. Just move this way a little bit. Affirmative. Taking them out. Not a lot of imaginative verbiage there. Friendly's acknowledged. Put your weapons down. I was going to say, I see. Really? That's too close? Out of range, in range. Don't make, it, don't make a difference. No, run. Surrender now or face immediate extermination. We are not a Dalek. What's that horseshit? You are interfering. Desist and depart. Well, I mean, that's sort of the idea, isn't it? Running Electromatrix. I'll take you down. Well, he's doing the... She's doing the thing. We'll jump. Bang. Oh, we've ran out of focus for the exhaust. Damn. Well, exhaust. We can get a bang. We can get an eight. Oh, look. There's a focus. Or focus up to the five. You are interfering. Desist and depart. Nothing makes me more concerned than saying cease and desist.
Oh, more friends are coming. Oh, there they are. You are interfering. Desist and depart. Oh, fine. I'll just... I'll get the skirmisher out. T7. Taking damage! Down to eight. You know what? Let's just jump in. Hit the bang. Hit an eight. This is critical. Uh, syndicate plans, chips, nothing exciting. So we, what shield guard one went down. So which implies that there's more than one shield guard. Sending out the files now. Republic Fleet, come in. Do you read me? Flagship Dauntless here. Patching you through to the command deck. This is Satil Shan. Do we have you to thank for shutting down that jammer? That and a whole lot more. There are traitors hiding on every ship in your fleet. The Imperial ships too. They're manipulating the battle from both sides. I'm transmitting the traitors' names now. They're part of a cult. The Order of Revan. Revan? But he was killed. Apparently it didn't take. All ships cease fire. Open a channel to the Imperial Commander. I've been listening. As ruses go, this is quite creative. It's the truth. Round up the people from Theron's list and see for yourself. And if you're correct, what do you propose? A meeting. Face to face on neutral ground. There's a town on the surface, Raiders Cove. We'll send coordinates for the meeting spot. Very well. I hope you know what you're doing. That oh, was at the flashpoint. Oh, it felt like it was going to go longer. I have. 26 of these, so let's take one of those. That must be the end. Because it has the exit thing there. That was a fast flashpoint. I was not expecting it to do it that quickly. I have to go to the safe house. Back here. I think we've had enough time that we can quick travel. Yeah. Sorry, a lot of traveling here. I feel like we got just enough time. And we shouldn't have an issue. Oh, took a wrong turn. Doing the chat. Well, the neutral ground is a relative term since it's our safe house. Would anyone like some refreshments? We have several fine beverages available. No, thank you. I'm fine. C2 always making friends. All right. Off to a good start. Master Satil, thank you for coming. Of course. The Revanite ships have all been scattered, captured, or destroyed. Their accomplices aboard our vessels are in chains. You found a threat and given us the means to root it out. Separately, what do we have to discuss? Revan is still alive, my lord, and his plans don't stop here. The Emperor's not dead. Revan thinks he can fix that, but he's wrong, isn't he? No one person, not even Revan, can truly destroy the Emperor. Well, what the hell then? I struck the Emperor down myself. I saw him die. You destroyed his body, even wounded his spirit perhaps more than anyone before you. 
But that was not enough. The Emperor's current state is nebulous, incorporeal. To strike at him, Revan will first have to return him to a physical form. Which is exactly what the Emperor wants. He will destroy Revan, then move on to the rest of us. In time, he will consume all life in the galaxy. How do we prevent it? How do we stop Revan? The Emperor's hideaway is a secret, even to the Dark Council. The fourth moon of Yavin. That's where we'll find Revan. He wanted me to join him there. Never said I couldn't bring a few friends. According to our data, he still has extensive forces at his disposal. We would stand a better chance of overcoming them together. No matter what evidence I present, I doubt the Supreme Chancellor will agree to any kind of alliance or truce. Neither will the Dark Council, but my ships and the soldiers aboard them are loyal to me. I can convince my troops to maintain a truce. They've seen Revan's threat firsthand. Then we meet on Yavin 4. Agreed. It's a whole long Sith history there. Theron. We can talk on the way to Yavin. I have some business to finish here. Thank you for your help. All of you. This can't have been easy. The conspiracy is finally exposed. We've been hiding our actions from our allies for so long, it's a relief to have everything in the open. So we can talk about how you threw me to the wolves now? So that's why you stopped me. I made a calculated strategic decision, and it worked, as we can all see now. And if you had talked to me about it, I would have volunteered, but you didn't even give me a choice. We couldn't risk the Revenites knowing that your capture was a ploy. You had to be in the dark for the plan to work. Probably not a bad plan. If the Revenites knew your capture was staged, they would have killed you. And we wouldn't have learned Revan's plan. Hiding the truth was probably the best option. We've got exactly one professional spy in this group. I could have handled it. I think it's time we moved on. Yavin is a long way from here. Agreed. Let's get moving. I'll see you there. Safe travels! I assume they're coming along too. Slide that down to the junk pile. Do that. Alright. Use our ship to travel to Yavin 4. As I was saying, yeah, a lot of Sith history in Yavin 4. Kind of gets covered in the expanded use in the, uh, anytime they kind of hit up Luke. At his old, well, as I say, he's Yavin Jedi Temple. I was gonna say, anybody remember where we parked? Pretty sure it was in the itchy lot, but I could be wrong. I don't think this is right. Uh, maybe I, it is. Okay, we can't get back to my ship from here. All right. Good news. All right, so next time out, next time out, we will head to Yavin 4. But until we see you for that, hi, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, Chance of Star Wars is a speciality. We've got playlists on the screen in the description down below. And more videos any time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And you'll see you next year.